Okay, so let's start by working on the different materials we see here. Uh, this is part nine, I think. Uh, let's go to the shading mode and um, remove this. I will remove the texture, we don't need that. Uh, we can begin by this pl plastic here. So for that, we can just change the base color to black. Uh, reduce the roughness a bit around there. And I think we need to, can we add some, I uh, know. We can also increase the roughness just a bit around there. Uh, so that will be this part here. And uh, we also have this area here. So if you hit, if you, let me turn on shortcuts. So if you hit L, you can select uh, that seam, that island, a seam island. Uh, yeah, if you have a seam, if you marked a seam around that object and hit L on your keyboard, it will select uh, that seam island. So now we can go to materials and uh, create a new material. We can use the same material here. Uh, but just uh, make it duplicate so that it's not the same. And uh, for this, we will reduce the roughness a bit and also make sure we assign that. And also we can give it a clear code. A one. And see, that is what we have. Maybe re just reduce the roughness a bit more. Then we have this here. So this area here. So hit L, create a new material. Can still use a different one. Sorry, the same settings. And change them just a bit. And uh, we need this to be metallic, so give it one. And uh, the color, the base color ne still needs to be white. Uh, we can reduce uh, the roughness even further around there. Let me see if we remove the clear coat, what happens? I can just keep it there. So this here will be the same texture for these parts, for these parts here. So it'll be the same material. Maybe uh, with more roughness. Uh, same material for these. I guess I need to, I'll just name them brushed. Metal. Like that. Uh, this, I think, can stay the same. So we need to work on this material here. So for that, we just select this here. Hit L. Hmm. Seems we didn't mark a seam for this area. Let me first hide this so that I see what's going on because uh, this is supposed to be separated by a seam in here. Let me first go to solid mode, uh, turn off bevel and subsurface. So we do need a seam around here going across up to there. Control E, maxim. Control E. We don't need to uh, to unwrap again. We just need that same there, and uh, now we can bring back the modifiers. Go back to material, and uh, 
if we hit L, it should only select uh, that part there. So for that, let's go add a new material. Uh, we can use this as a base starting point. Uh, make duplicate this. Then make sure it's assigned. <coughs> and uh, then we can uh, use a different color. So I can just pick uh, that there. Maybe adjust it a bit to match it. And we try picking again. But uh, this should not have any clear coat and uh, should have more roughness. So let me see if we made it metallic, what happens? And increased the roughness. Yeah, I think it should be around there. Maybe reduce the roughness just a notch. And we have our materials. So in the next lesson, we will just start working on those uh, bump maps and uh, see how we can approach them. Thank you.